just to the north of camp, I believe it's just to the north of camp, is a mountain that here at camp we like to refer to as T-Shirt Mountain. Can you tell us how that came about? Well, in 1956 when we first bought it, when I was 11 years old, I went up that mountain with two other fellows. Um, Joe Hines, who was the preacher's son from Great Falls, Montana. Joe, Joe died in, as a student at Abilene. He drowned in about 1963. But he was always my hero. He's a couple of years older than me. But he went up there. We hiked up there when, when we were just kids. And he took his shirt off and hung it on a dead tree at that pinnacle of that part of the mountain and said, uh, I declare it T-Shirt Mountain. And it's been climbed hundreds upon hundreds of times by people since. And uh, if you go up there now, there will be lots of T-shirts hanging up there. It's even been the site of some memorial services and some ashes spread from people that love Yellowstone Bible Camp. Interesting, T-Shirt Mountain isn't the official Forest Service name for it. And it's really not to the peak. It's the first of three peaks. But we see that initial one from camp. And, uh, and it's still a rugged hike. And the rocks are loose and it's steep and it's hard on, it's hard on feet and hands and bottoms. <laughs> um, and, and we caution people. Youth camps cannot climb it. We only allow people during the family camps with, with, uh, with the guidance of a parent or somebody who knows the best route up there. Oh, uh, but it's a, it's a fun way to look at the camp.